Welcome to another Sunday WOAY ABC4 Community Forum, where we talk to community leaders and local success stories to discuss important information that affects all of us here in Southern West Virginia. I'm your host, Brandi Lawrence, and today we're joined by another distinguished guest. Captain Liz from the Salvation Army joins us this morning. Thanks so much for coming back to the forum. Thanks for having me, Brandi. It's awesome to be here. Absolutely. It's awesome to have you back. Uh, we had a great time last time, you know, talking about the new building and things coming up, um, mm -hmm. and it's coming soon. Yes. <laughs> Sooner, I can't wait. We're, we're closer now than we've ever been. So the keys are coming our way. Awesome, awesome. So before we get into the details of that, I know a lot of our audience are familiar with the Salvation Army in terms of, you know, Christmas and the bell ringers. But for the people out there that may not be familiar with all that you all do, can you give them the information? Yeah, absolutely. The Salvation Army serves beyond just Christmas. We're 365 days a year active, helping folks uh, that just have a hard time whether it, need, it needs to be food or utility assistance, rental assistance, or even emotional, spiritual care. You know, we really try to meet the gaps of, you know, folks that are just struggling and, and we call it a, you know, hand up. Um, but shout out to our community at Christmas when you saw our red kettles and the bell ringers and angel tree. Uh, we had a record year this past Christmas. We raised over $100,000 uh, in those red little buckets. We call them <laughs> kettles. Uh, but we raised so much and we just want to thank our community for that because that money has gone to providing over a thousand food boxes from November to the end of January. It's helped provide utility assistance for over 180 families. And we really couldn't have done that without that Red Kettle campaign. Um, and even at Christmas, I was so uh, jazzed about our Angel Tree program. We had over 400 kids uh, receive Christmas presents because of the generosity of our community. And so shout out to everyone who was a part of that. Um, and beyond Christmas, you know, we're still we're still over on South Fayette Street uh, in, our, in our old building waiting to move. Uh, we've got things in boxes all over the place, uh, but we're still serving even through that and through this big transition transition that we're going to have uh, going from a you know a 90 some year old building to state of the art everything uh, it's really exciting to know that we'll be able to provide even more services as we hire staff and you know we just want the community to know like if you're struggling if you're needing help if you're not sure where to go you know give us a call come stop by our office uh, you don't have to go through anything alone like there's an army of people who want to help and uh, we're just privileged to be a part of it. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Yeah. And thank you guys, you know, yes. for doing your part to yes. help the community. And you guys, it, you know, it's really awesome that it really uh, helped you guys, you know, further give back to the community. Yeah. So it, it's kind of all working together. It, it, we tell people all the time, it takes an army and <laughs> it blows me away. You know, there'll be days I'll be sitting at our office and somebody will come in with a truckload of food that we weren't expecting, but it comes right in at time. Uh, because, you know, there's, there's some days where our pantry gets super low on food and we think, my goodness, like, what are we going to have to do? Like, we, we have to figure something out. And then somebody will just roll in and say, hey, I've got tons of food. Can you help me unload this? And we're like, yes, you came just at the nick of the time. Uh, even this week, we had two different churches uh, donate to us that their, their congregations have been working really hard uh, to raise food, to help food pantries. And so uh, it's, it's tough right now for families. Uh, the prices of stuff is really high. And so those church groups, local groups, uh, Girl Scout groups, that are doing that, like that's boots on the ground. They're, they're the army that help us, you know, do what we do every day. And it just blesses me when families come in and they say, you know, we didn't know what we would do. And so to provide that, you know, it definitely gives you that good feeling of, you know, I'm doing something positive for my community and knowing that it's going to make a difference. And so hopefully I pray one day we won't need food pantries. Uh, but for right now, you know, if, if folks are out there and they're struggling, their cupboards are getting a little low, you know, come stop by and see us. We're here Monday through Friday from nine to three. Uh, grab you an emergency food box, and you know, it's it's not much, uh, mm -hmm. but we try to make it as best as we can to to help folks uh, keep the cupboards full. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. And you know, since the army has gotten so big, you needed a new facility That's to right. house the army. So That's right. um, I know a lot of people have been wondering about the new building. There, yeah. we were talking a little bit before the show started. How a lot of people think it's a thrift store. It's not a thrift store. <laughs> it is not a thrift store. No. So can you give them, um, you know, an update on how the building is going and when you all expect to be opening your doors? Yeah. So the most excited I've been in a while is when I came down Robert C. Bird Drive and I saw the Salvation Army shield finally on our 
are building. And I was like, yes, we're getting closer. Now people know, okay, that's the Salvation Army uh, because we've been building this thing since March of 2022. And we have had every, however you want to call it, pandemic, COVID, supply chain, setback you can imagine, waiting on equipment. Finally, all the pieces are there. Uh, we just got to uh, set the air conditioning units and the HVAC units a couple weeks ago. And that was one of our big things that we were waiting is when are these units coming in? So now all the pieces are there uh, and shout out to Radford and Radford who are our contractors uh, getting all the pieces to work together uh, and to, to be done uh, so that we can get in there. But that building is going to be our, our new home. Uh, for everything that we provide, whether it be re our religious uh, and emotional and spiritual care component of the Salvation Army, our utility assistance, rental assistance, uh, food pantry, uh, the whole front side of that building is, is our social services where we'll work with clients. We have an exciting program called Pathway of Hope where we work with parents who have uh, children under the age of 18. And we try to really break generational poverty uh, by walking along with some accountability, some intense case management, uh, where families you know, sit, we work through budgets, and we have that accountability where they, they agree to meet with us and, and do life with us for six months, which is a pretty big commitment. Mm -hmm. uh, but through that, we want to provide education and resources and food and really help families you know, get that leg up so that they can say, you know what? I once was here, but now I'm totally somewhere different. Uh, and we just want to be a part of that story uh, for those families. So the whole front side of the building, when you look at it from Robert C. Byrd, uh, the brick front of the building is all social services, and it's beautiful. The back side of our building, which is that huge tower that goes up into the sky, and I think, holy cow, this is, this is a tall gym. <laughs> that whole back section that you see when you're coming down Robert C. Byrd, that's our Boys and Girls Club. And so that's going to be the first ever Boys and Girls Club in Raleigh County uh, and really in southern West Virginia. The closest one to us would be Charleston, West Virginia, has a Boys and Girls Club. And uh, Boys and Girls Club of America is a great organization. They've partnered with the Salvation Army since the 1960s, uh, so like going way back. And that's to provide after-school care for at-risk youth. And so uh, for Raleigh County, it's identifying, hey, you know, kids need a safe place. Parents need a place that they know their kids can go and maybe, you know, mom and dad are working till later in the evening. There's really that gap in child care. You know, as the Salvation Army and Boys and Girls Club, we want to say we want to be home uh, for these kids. And so we're providing uh, a huge gym that we can do pickleball, basketball, volleyball. We have a STEAM program um, that's going to come in and really give the kids a chance to do hands-on learning and experiments. And you know, my, my big goal is don't blow up our brand new building, uh, <laughs> but we're going to see how far we can push that line to give the kids really those educational experiences, uh, to have safe computer skills and how to navigate that reading programs because I'm a huge fan of literacy. I remember last time we were talking about that. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, having a place where the kids can learn uh, new things just through reading books and, and being passionate about uh, literature. And we really want to be a place where the kids can come where they're not on their phones all the time uh, because that's so much of our culture. We want to build relationships and do fun things and, and say, you know what, you can get some really cool, um, the same kind of hits in your brain of this is really positive and fun that you would get from you know playing a game on your phone to doing it in real life and shooting some basketballs or you know uh, doing some homework together because that's really our purpose is to see academic success, well-being of the full child and student uh, by having healthy meals and having a place to just talk with someone that really cares. And so we're still needing volunteers and mentors to come in. Uh, but these, these kids, you know, it, it takes something so small as saying, hey, you know, I know Miss Brandy, like she comes in, she reads, like she cares about me. And that create those relationships where maybe one of those students could say, you know, I could see myself doing that one day. Maybe I'll be an anchor. Maybe I'll do that. <laughs> and that's really what we want to do is expose students to different career paths and to really give them a place where they feel like I, I belong here. I belong at the Salvation Army. I belong at the Boys and Girls Club. And uh, definitely shout out to West Virginia Tech. Uh, they've really helped us with the Cub Club and allowing the Boys and Girls Club to be a part of the Cub Club uh, to really build our, our community and to be a part of it. And so uh, any parents that are like, wow, this is, sounds amazing. <laughs> like, how do I get my kids signed up? Uh, stop by our office, 312 South Fayette Street, pick up an application. You can go online to our website, beckley.salvationarmypotomac.org, find out more information, or you can give us a call, 
304-253-9541 and just sign your kids up. And even if you say, well, I don't know if that, that's a pretty big commitment, Monday through Friday, every day after school. Uh, we're starting in March, as soon as we get in the building. Uh, we're gonna start and go through June, the end of the school year, and then we'll have a summer camp program. So Boys and Girls Club, if you've never heard of it, if you have no idea still what it is, uh, Google it, find out more, uh, check out our social media pages, but just, just stop by because that, that building that we're building, it's an investment and we believe like great futures start here uh, in Raleigh County. And so we just, we want this space to be for our community uh, to come and, and to enjoy it and, and to have fun. Cause I like to, I like to party. <laughs> I like to have a good time. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. And that's a really, um, a really great place for you know kids to go and meet each other have some fun and you know like you said get off you know the social media and off screen time and things like that that has yeah. been something that people have been looking at more i think they've been doing more studies about how it's been too much screen time has been negatively impacting kids. So you're really given an outlet and a place to say, hey, like you can come meet up with other kids and make some friends and, you know, do some yeah. fun stuff. Yeah, and one of the one of the really cool things I think with, with youth is is giving them tools to express themselves. And so a lot of times, you know, kids turn to social media for that. You know, I'm gonna put a post out or I'm gonna find all these memes and I'm gonna make TikTok videos because that's a way of ex expression. And so we're also through the Boys and Girls Club uh, creating a music and arts program. And so if kids elect into, we have guitar class, piano class, drums, and brass. Uh, and my background before I came to the Salvation Army was, was music, I was music ed. And so I love, I'm passionate about teaching kids music. And so the Boys and Girls Club will have great uh, rooms that we can have practice rooms and really give the kids you know, opportunities to express themselves, not just through sports and all that, but also through music and arts. And so we're really, really excited to, you know, again, just equipping students to face the real world and uh, to do that after school when it's, you know, it's an after school program. Like it's fun, it's more laid back, it's not school. Like mm -hmm. we're, not, we're not doing school, <laughs> uh, but you're gonna see that lead into school uh, because our goal is tracking that academic performance. You know, we wanna see our students performing better. And I believe music and arts and, you know, that full bodied uh, just care for kids uh, is important. And we're K to 12, so we've got the whole, the whole spectrum there uh, and you know we really want to we really just want parents to know like if if you're hesitant if you're like I need I don't, I'm not really sure just just come try it out just come check it out uh, stop by our building you know we're there and just say hey can I get a tour of the Boys and Girls Club uh, we don't have our gym floor down yet because we're waiting for heat to get that installed uh, but everything's there I mean the front of the building is pretty much completely done the only part we're really waiting on is the landscaping because it still looks a little rough over there and that gym floor uh, but we we encourage parents you know just give us a call and say hey can I take a tour can I learn it can I learn more um, because I really think if if parents realize hey this is an after-school program that my kids are gonna love uh, they're gonna they're gonna benefit from it the whole family awesome awesome all right and we're about to go off to our first break but you guys stay tuned I'll be back with Captain Liz to talk more about the Salvation Army welcome back to Sunday Community Forum I'm here with Captain Liz and we're talking about everything that the Salvation Army has to offer so we've been talking you know about the Boys and Girls Club and how you know it's an awesome place to you know get the kids out and you know to meet each other to learn new things but um, you guys also have a summer camp yes <laughs> uh, brand new right new building new programs uh, what better time to break in a new building than with summer camp I can't imagine a better place to have 180 kids screaming and having fun uh, than at our new center on Robert C. Bird Drive. And so our summer camp is going to start uh, the second week of June, and it's going to run for eight weeks all the way through the end of July. And so that summer camp, we start at 7.30 in the morning. We end around 4 p.m., give parents a chance. Like if you need child care in the summer, the Boys and Girls Club is definitely a place for you uh, because we're going to offer awesome programming uh, it's summer so of course we got to go to the pool mm -hmm. that's like a must and we've got to do some fun summer activities and so shout out to alpine they're helping us out with a week to take the kids to do rock climbing and canoeing <laughs> all the all the fun summer stuff we also are going to have themed weeks so like west virginia week you know hawaiian week so that the kids can you know just have fun and also have the learning components of it as well so we're still going to be doing some steam programming you know building race cars things like that uh, but summer camp is 
for me, it's the best time because you, you're with the kids for you know eight hours plus a day, and so you really get to see personalities. You get to see you know the the fun things. Uh, we get to take trips. You know, we're going to do a lot of hiking, taking advantage of really our community. And it always surprises me of how many families come in and they say, you know what, I've lived here forever, but I've never been out to Grandview. And so we're going to cross off some of those bucket list New River Gorge experiences with the Boys and Girls Club this year. And if anyone's out and says, you know what, I work with so-and-so or I have a group, you know, maybe the Boys and Girls Club can come learn about beehives or if you know if you're passionate about something you know please reach out to us because as we're programming out our summer you know we want the kids to experience things that they normally wouldn't get to experience sitting home at the couch with you know grandma or grandpa or whoever's watching them you know we want to we want to push the kids to so that they can really experience everything that our community has to offer uh, and create some of those core memories. Uh, because I know even when I was a kid, and I'm sure you have memories of summers, uh, when you just do those those fun things, like I always think of like the rainstorms when they would come in and it's like, okay, what are we gonna do? We're gonna have some fun activity in the gym or whatever. And so we wanna, we wanna provide that core memory making place uh, for kids in, in Raleigh County. And uh, we, we can take 180 kids and so sign up Stop by our, our building, uh, fill out an application. It's $50 a week for our summer camp, so we try to make it as affordable as we can uh, because, again, we want, we want kids to have an amazing experience for the summer. And if a, a family's saying, you know what, I, I really can't afford that. I've got five kids, $50 a week for each one of them. Like, that's too much. Give us a call. Uh, we've got some amazing donors who believe in the program, who believe in the Boys and Girls Club, and really want every kid to have that experience. So there's really no excuses. So parents, if you're like, what am I going to do? There's no excuse. Come come to the Boys and Girls Club with the Salvation Army. That's awesome. And it sounds like a fun time. Like, I almost want to go to the hey, summer camp. come on. Like, come on, Brandon. You can come join <laughs> us. come along with the kids. Yeah. And I'll have to join would, in. That like, would be I'll be awesome. a chaperone, but I'll also, you know, be out there swimming with you guys. That'd so. be awesome. <laughs> yeah, we're even taking some of our kids. Uh, the Salvation Army has a camp called Camp Rappahannock, mm. which is in Charlottesville, Virginia. And for some of our older kids, they get to go for a week-long overnight experience uh, to Camp Rappahannock, where they go canoeing down the Rappahannock River. They have ropes course camp. Uh, and that's a really cool experience because kids are away from their parents for that week. And so they have that little bit of freedom. Uh, the first night, we always say everybody gets homesick, but you, you get through that because we keep you so busy. By the time you go back to the cabin, you're out, like you're <laughs> sleeping. And so, you know, even if parents are, are interested in maybe just that one week of camp experience, you know, give us a call because Camp Rappahannock is, is an amazing experience for kids. And that you have to be six, it's ages six to 16. Uh, to go to Camp Rappahannock, but that's something, and that one is totally free. Uh, and so parents, you know, uh, hit us up on social media, contact us, and we can get you signed up for that overnight camp as well. Awesome. And that's this part of our eight-week camp experience. Eight-week camp. So yeah. it's just a jam-packed, like you can have the, probably the best summer ever. Just yes, the Salvation yes. Army. The best summer <laughs> ever, and, you know, our building is brand new. It needs broken in. Uh, I think summer camp's a great way to do that. We'll provide breakfast for the kids every morning. We'll have like a continental breakfast because for me, you know, seven between seven and seven thirty for a drop off, it's like I need some coffee mm -hmm. and probably some some donuts or something <laughs> to get me going. And then we'll have lunch every day for the kids and then a snack at the end because. I don't know about you guys, but when I come home from the pool, I'm ready for a snack and a nap. Absolutely. And so when we, we take the kids, you know, again, Beckley is such a, a wonderful community. Um, you know, we're able to, to use our local community pools and we want the club kids because it's summer, you have to go to the pool at least at least three times a week. I mean, come on. Definitely. And so we'll uh, we'll have the kids out. So you might see it, you know, on the McManus Trail, the little boys and girls club kids uh, <laughs> walking down to the pool. But uh, yeah, we, it's just going to be a fun experience. And again, you know, we want to build those relationships and we want to help stop the summer learning loss. Because even in the even though it's summer camp, we're still going to do fun stuff. We're still going to have summer reading programs. We're going to be exposing the kids, you know, to literature, to music and arts, uh, to some science projects. And I think that's just it's going to be a lot of fun. So don't miss out on the summer camp if you're if you're thinking, what am I going to do with my kids this summer? The Salvation Army is the place for you. Awesome, awesome. And you know, for all of these 
jam-packed, you know, events and activities that you all have going and, you know, to wrangle all these kids. <laughs> I'm sure you're going to need some mentors and some volunteers. Yes, so uh, absolutely. Is, what type of, you know, help are you all looking for and how can they uh, get in touch with you so they can be of help to the Salvation Army? Yeah, the best thing is give us a call 304-253-9541 or send us an email. It's beckleywv at uss.salvationarmy.org. Uh, to be with the Boys and Girls Club, you have to go through a really simple background check process. Uh, everybody has to do it. Uh, we just do that for the safety of our kids. And then we have a really quick 45 minute training that we do with all of our volunteers, just introducing them to working with you know students and giving them tools of how to start conversations. Because nobody likes being that mentor that comes in and is like, uh, these kids are like, what do I do? Like, how do we? <laughs> like, I'm scared. Do, yeah, what's going on? <laughs> and so we we give you a quick, uh, just a quick training. And then once you're fully trained and you're on our list of go-to volunteers. The easiest thing is coming in once a month and being one of our readers, reading to the kids. Uh, that is so impactful, whether it's the kindergarten group or the middle schoolers. It still blows my mind of how kids get into stories and you can see their minds working as they're imagining you know, these characters coming off the page. And so being a reader for us is huge. Uh, the next thing is, is the mentorship of saying, you know what, I'm gonna take three or four kids and really intentionally invest with them. It might be as simple as doing some math homework or shooting some hoops with them, or maybe you're a mu musician and you can say, hey, I can come in on music nights and be one of the leaders or just help, you know, take some kids out to say, hey, let's do a more small, you know, kind of like private lesson. So if there's musicians out there, we need you, we need your help. Um, right now, we're, we've already started some of our guitar classes. And the kids are absolutely loving it, you know, learning simple chords like G major, E minor, and learning how to play an instrument for the first time. And at the Salvation Army, we provide all those instruments. So even families that say, this was never an option for me because I couldn't, I couldn't afford to rent an ins instrument or I couldn't go out and buy one. We provide that. And so uh, we definitely need mentors and tutors, uh, even if it's, you know, maybe it's somebody that says, you know, I love cooking and you could come in and help our cook prepare 180 meals. I mean, that's, that's not an easy feat. No. <laughs> and so helping, you know, helping in even the food pantry side and the kitchen preparing meals, you know, if you say, well, I, I just, I don't feel comfortable leading a group of kids or that's not my thing, shooting basketball, you know, the serving side of being in that window, being somebody that the kids say, hey, I know Miss Sally's gonna be there every day and she's gonna make sure I get that extra scoop of whatever. You know, th those are special experiences as well. And people say, well, that, that doesn't seem like a mentor. You'll be surprised, something as simple as, as being that, that person serving the meal or making sure you're drinking your water before you go get your lemonade. That is mentoring, you know, that's taking care of, of, of coming around and even saying, you know, hey, like, let's sweep up the floor, let's take care of this beautiful building together. We, we need those folks. And so if you're kind of even on the fence about, I don't know if I have the skill set or that, just come, come, come take the training, come get, your, get cleared through us, and uh, you'll be surprised, you know, even as simple as coming with us to the pool and saying, you know, hey, help us carry all the sunscreen and all the things <laughs> to make sure everyone's safe. You know, the, the more people in our community that are involved with the Boys and Girls Club, the better our program's gonna be. And so it takes, again, it takes an army. <laughs> and so, you know, readers, mentors, um, just folks to be present. There's a, a huge, a huge thing I believe in the ministry of presence, of just being there and uh, and giving the kids something to look forward to, because I'm sure they're going to get tired of seeing me and our staff every day all summer long. So to bring in some some different elements, I think is going to be really cool and exciting. Yeah, I think they'll really enjoy that, and I think um, you know even you opening this up of saying like, hey, whatever it is that you know you do, yeah. it could even like introduce them to something new. Like exactly. I think you mentioned like. Uh, that you would love to like get more partnerships in with the summer yes. camp and things like that. You mentioned beekeeping yes. and Raleigh County does have a beekeeping yes. club. So yeah. it's like, even that, like yeah. I've been inside a live hive before and oh, I think wow. the kids would, that's, <laughs> like, that's would get scary. something. Wow. It is a little scary, but they don't bother you. And like, that's it awesome. really taught me not to be afraid of bees and things yeah. like that. And I feel like kids could probably benefit from something like that. So yeah. that's whatever it is that you do, um, yeah. you know, just get in touch with the Salvation Army and there's Absolutely. probably a avenue for you to really help Absolutely. I, I am drawn to people who are passionate about what they do. Uh, and so even if it's something like beekeeping or if they're passionate about 
cooking or passionate about, you know, whatever. Pickleball is a huge thing in our community. Just coming in and playing a game of pickleball with some kids, I mean, it's, it, it just never ceases to amaze me. Those little things that you think, well, this really doesn't matter. That's usually the thing that makes the biggest impact in that person's life. Mm -hmm. And so if you're passionate, whatever it may be, I mean, it could be construction, it could be science, it could be reading, music, use that passion at the Boys and Girls Club to impact the next generation because I think that's what we all, we all want that sense of connection and community. And everyone's like, well, how do you do it? Like, and I, I tell people all the time, it's not hard. Just take, you know, an hour once a week and come to the Boys and Girls Club and you'll see how, I mean, it's a chain reaction of things changing because of something so simple and so small. So it, it doesn't have to be, you don't have to create a program or build another building, like just come join us. And uh, it just amazes me when passionate people are together, what can happen. Absolutely, absolutely. And I think a lot of people forget, you know, kids are young, they're impressionable, and like yes. a lot of the things that you teach them, they might take it with them for the rest of their lives, so. Exactly, All right. exactly. So uh, well, we're about a minute or so out from, uh, you know, ending the segment, but before before we go, do you mind plugging the contact information one more time so those mentors and volunteers can get to you? Absolutely. So our website is beckley.salvationarmypotomac.org. Our phone number is 304-253-9541. Or you can shoot us an email at beckleywv at uss, so samsam.salvationarmy.org. Uh, or old school we're still at 312 South Fayette Street. It's an old building, uh, but come in. I'd love to see you. It would make my day uh, to connect with you. And I'm on social media as well, Beckley WV, Salvation Army. Uh, hit us up on Facebook, send us Facebook messages, uh, but just come be a part of it. Don't miss out. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you again for coming to the forum and educating us on everything going on with the Salvation Army, the Boys and Girls Club, the summer camp, everything. Yes. So a lot of uh, great information. Yeah. So thank you, Brandy. Thank you. And thank you all for joining us this Sunday. And you guys, be sure to tune in next Sunday to the next community forum where we talk to more local success stories and leaders. You guys have a happy Sunday. Thanks. Thank you.